This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 328. 328. That's today, March 28th. And today, I want to talk about understanding the seed and the fruit. So this is going to be a metaphor. Everybody wants the fruit. So you want the butt or the abs or the thighs. You want an amazing body. You want to be fit. You want to be energetic. You want to have beautiful long hair. You want to have clear glowing skin. You want to feel good. You want to have deep sleep. You want to have lots of energy. You want to just Feel free and happy and not worry about your health. You want to heal and you want to feel really good. That's the fruit. Now, you never get the fruit before the seed. You see, all those things that I just mentioned, those all take work. And sure, some people were blessed with you know, perfect bodies, perfect, amazing hair, just genetically blessed with all those things, beautiful glowing skin, um, perfect, you know, amazing health, deep sleep, lots of energy. Those people are usually under 25 and I've never been like that in my life at any age. So I wasn't one of those people. And maybe you are not one of those people as well. Maybe you are also someone who was never just genetically blessed. uh, And so we have to live in reality. And the reality is, is that all of those things, all of those goals, all of those dreams and things that you want to feel and look like, those all take work. But see, most people just don't want to do the work. If you don't want to do the work, but you still do it anyway, you'll get the results. And if you want to do the work and you do it, you'll get the results. So you see what I'm saying here? Did you catch that? It's okay. It's okay that you don't feel like doing certain things some days and that's normal. And we've talked about that on this podcast many times. One of my mottos in life is, it's okay to want to quit as long as you don't. I got that from Andy Frisella. Highly recommend him. F-R-I-Sella. I I guess it's S-E-L-L-A, I think. Andy Frisella. I love his podcast, Real AF, and uh, his content in general is amazing because he's, uh, it's a business podcast, but... He's a true entrepreneur and he's lost a lot of weight and he's, um, he's just got a lot of wisdom to share and he's the creator of 75 Hard. And so he helped me understand that I'm not always going to want to do the things that I need to do to get the results that I want. To get the fruit of my labor, to get the fruit that I want to grow, to manifest, to come into fruition, I'm going to have to do certain things. So if I want the body of my dreams, okay, I have this, if I want the six pack abs, which I'm working on, I'm working on, okay, and uh, I had them in the past and then, you know, you lose them in like a day if you don't, if you don't work out one day, um, or that's just me. So anyway, I had them in the past, I'm getting back to them um, and, um, you know, I want, I want a butt and I want to tone up, tone up my arms, and I want the body of my dreams, because why not? Why, why? I don't have to justify it, but see, there's, I have to exercise to get that body. You're not just going to wake up and have the body. Okay, if you want to go to school and you want to get a degree, you can't, you're never going to wake up and just accidentally get that degree. You're going to have to go in to school or go attend the the Zooms or whatever capacity you take the course or the schooling. And to get the certificate, you have to show up and you have to do the homework and you have to do the work. And so that's also true for my course. Because if you sign up for my course and you don't do the work, you will not 
get the results. It's as simple as that. You can't pay someone to do the work, but you can pay me to tell you what to do and to help you do it and to give you support because that's what my group is about. That's what I'm doing. Every six weeks, I run a course and it gives people the support and the push and they meet other people that are doing the same thing. And those people have recipes that they share and those people have tips and tricks that they share and those people check on you and push you and see what you need and how they can help and speak life into you and give you confidence and give you the support that we all need. We all need support and encouragement and accountability and a sense of, okay, I'm not the only one doing this. So if you'd like that, send me an email, jd at missedvegan.com. My course starts on Saturday, April 1st, and I have literally one spot left. So I'd recommend you check it out before April 1st. We start on Saturday, my boo. Um, And I want you to understand, okay, and I'm going to wrap this up real quick. I got to run. But I want you to understand that you can dream about it. You can pray for it. You can wish for it. You can do all the things. You can write about it. You can plan it. But if you're not going to do the work, it's never going to happen. And so I'd almost love if you just did instead of planning. You know, so many people are planning and preparing and praying and wishing and researching and planning some more. There's a lot of planners out there. But all that time planning, you could have been doing the work. I'd almost prefer if you were unorganized like me and instead of planning so much, you just did. Because, you know, there's two people in the world. There's the people that do and don't think and the people that think and don't do. Which one do you think I am? Okay. (laughs) I'm the do and don't think. And my best friend, she the think and don't do. And so together we are good, but we also clash a lot because I want to do, I want to do, I want to do. And she just wants to plan and think about it. And and both are needed, but if you gonna get if you gonna get where you wanna get, it's not gonna happen by planning. And it's not gonna happen by wishing. And praying is great, but prayer without action is delusion. And affirmations too. Affirmations without action is delusion. So if you're looking in the mirror and you're saying, I am fit, I am healthy, but you're eating Doritos and you're not working out, it's not gonna work. You're never going to get the fruit before you plant the seed and water the seed and trim the weeds and do the work in the garden and tend to it and work. You got to do the work. You have a goal? What do you need to do? Okay, fine. Spend five minutes and write it down. What do you need to do every day to get one day closer to that goal? I personally needed to join a yoga studio because I was, I was working out on my own, but I'm not going to get the body I want on my own. I need accountability. I need instruction. I need to work out with other people. It pushes me. And so even though I run workout classes, okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I still need accountability and somebody to push me on my own because, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, who's pushing me? And, you know, my clients are pushing me when I'm working out with them, but I need someone to push me. And so it's absolutely worth the price. You know, I joined a very expensive studio, but it's worth it because it's, it's my dreams. It's my, it's my body. It's my most precious, precious, um, uh, I was going to say temple, but I don't mean temple. It's my most precious vessel and, oh, sorry, what is the word I'm looking for? Urgh. Okay, let's just say it's my most important thing that I own. Okay, I can't think of the word, but we are own cars, we own houses, we own dressers and computers and cameras and phones. But all of it means nothing if your body is broken and uncomfortable. You know, we take better care of our car. The inside, we get it cleaned, we get it vacuumed. You know, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I see people, they get their car washed and then they get their car detailed 
and they get the interior of their car washed. But these same people never worry about the interior of their body. I see it. I see it because I see Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces online at the McDonald's 24-hour takeout window. I see it and I can't believe it. The cars are immaculate and perfect because I live across the street from a McDonald's. And I, I just can't believe it. Why? Why do we think that it doesn't matter what we eat? Every single day, we have an opportunity to decide, do I want to die an early death? Do I want to have a disease? Do I want to suffer later? Or do I want to suffer now? And I put suffer in quotation marks because in the beginning of changing your diet, you might feel that it's suffering, but give it a few days. You're going to feel so goddamn good. You're not suffering. I'm, oh my goodness. I'm raw vegan because it's literally like the lottery. My body feels like I won the lottery. And because I know what it feels like to be sick and overweight and depressed and tired and have really bad skin and be really embarrassed and be really disgusted by myself and my habits and the way I felt and have really bad gas and bloating and all types of physical issues. I know what that's like, headaches and all these things. And so I just, I feel like I won the lottery. I don't feel at all deprived, even when I can't find good fruit. Because then I just go, I just freeze bananas and I have an ice cream. And, or I have a smoothie. Or I make a big salad. And I make an amazing dressing. you got to start seeing it as, wow, I am so lucky. I get to be healthy. I get the options to choose healthy food. And I'm willing to put in the work to exercise and to read and to journal And maybe if going into nature is part of your practice or meditating or yoga, you can't do everything, but you can do something every single day to move yourself closer to that person and that life that you want to have. You want to make a lot of money? Okay, well, you got to put in the work. And specifically, you want to work for yourself? I'm going to do a um, course soon. I I got a lot of stuff I want to do. I got a lot of stuff. And I think I need accountability. So... I'm about to hire someone to hold me accountable because I want to finish and publish my first book. Okay, I've written five books, but I want to publish my first one. I want to, I have eight courses that I want to make, I know. I want to start Misfit Mondays, which is going to be like a accountability Zoom every Monday. And I have multiple other things on my whiteboard in my room here that I'm reading, but there is one course that I really want to do about how to work for yourself and how to set that into motion while you are working a job, a just over broke. Because if I can do it, I know you can do it and you could do it better than me because I did it fucking wrong for so long. And now I understand it. And now I cracked the cheat code because before I was like, okay, if I just write an ebook, I can make millions of dollars on an ebook because $10 times a hundred, you know, thousand customers is a million dollars or whatever it is. And I was just like pipe dreaming. But now, seven years later, okay, or six years later, after starting my entrepreneurial journey in 2017, I understand it. And from 2017 until now, I have had to work two jobs. One job was for two years and the other job was for three months. But those are the only two jobs I've had uh, in the last six years. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. Oh, seven years. Well, 2023 just started. So six years and four months or whatever, three months. Um, So I am telling you this because I want you to understand that if I can do it, you can do it. And if I can go raw and never look back, trust me, you can do it. Now, do you want to do it is the question. Because if you don't want it, then you're not going to be able to do it. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Every single person that's raw vegan long-term, over 10 years, they fucking wanted it. They want it. And um, I just, I really, really want to be free of health problems. I saw my sister suffer and I really don't want that for me. I don't want to go to specialists. I don't want to get x-rays. I don't want to have to get cut open. I don't want to go through surgery. I want it. 
And you might say to yourself, Jeanette, I really, really want it. Well, your actions are going to tell me what you want. Because like that, and that's every area of life. Somebody says they love you and their actions don't fucking say they love you. Well, then they don't love you. You say you want to lose weight, but your actions are telling me you don't want to lose weight. Then you don't really want to lose weight. And if you don't understand what's going on, get talk to a therapist, write it out, journal, look up parts work, do the work. And figure it out. You're not a victim, my boo. You're a creator. And you're creating your reality. And even more importantly, well, you've created your reality. But in the future, you're creating the future right now, today, listening to this. As you're listening to this, neural pathways are being formed. And that's bringing you into the future. And every single thing you eat and every single thing you do today is going to affect your future. So I just, I want you to think about that. It's very important. It's very serious. You're here once and one time only. So if you want the fruit, you got to take care of the seed and you got to do the work. And that's all I want to just remind you of. I thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.